Hi, I'm Vicki. Welcome to my second ever candle reveal and review. And this time I'm going to be reviewing an order I received from Kushner Candles. We've had a lot of stormy weather in Florida the last couple days. In fact, my neighborhood was flooded this morning, so the box that my product came in <clears throat> was completely soggy, and so I'm not going to show you the opening of that box. However, I did unpack it and leave it just as I received it. Um, but the box was just a big, wet, soggy mess, and I wasn't going to drag it in here, and I wanted to get everything out of the box pretty much right away. So let's get right to it. First off, I received some sweet treats. Um, lemon heads, bubble gum, and an orange sucker. So thank you very much. Oh, and it's got a business card in there as well. Let me open it up just to see if it says something on the business card that might relate. Nope, oh, just a regular business card. Krishna Creations. And then there were two samplers that they sent me. Thank you very much, Kushner. The first is called Unicorns and Rainbows. It's a pretty pink color. So let me open it up and see what that smells like. Ooh, I can smell it from here. It smells good. Fruity. I can smell cherry and... I don't know something else but it's, it's very nice it's actually nicer a little distance than it is right up close so I guess that means it's probably strong and then the next one is called Smoky Bones which is actually the name of a nearby restaurant and it is brown let's see what it smells like well First, it smells kind of like Christmas tree. I don't know what it is. It smells like a Christmas tree and men's cologne. I'll have to look these up on the internet, and when I come back after melting the candle, I'll tell you what it says. It's nice. I, uh, I'm not a perfumey candle lover. Um, I tend to like fruit in the baked smell sense, but um, this isn't too bad. So. And now for the candle. Here it is. It is peach margarita. I love the smell of peach. That is one of my favorite scents. So. Oh. See, it should be pretty easy to get out. Luckily nothing got wrecked. I mean it was packaged so well. Oh look at my butterfly. Look at the butterfly. And of course, all the warnings on the bottom. I can smell something without even opening it. Wouldn't say it's peach, almost orangey. I don't drink margaritas, so I don't know what's in them. It smells um, orange and grapefruit. I think grapefruit's what I smell. I'm sure it has peach, but I'm smelling grapefruit right now. It sometimes. Well, not sometimes. It seems like every time I burn a candle, it seems like it might, the scent might, ooh, I just took a big nick out of the wax. I'm just going to trim the wick while I had scissors in my hand. Oh, it's nice. It's soft because it's also warm in Florida. So it was real easy to work it. Um, <clears throat> what I was going to say is it seems that candles do seem, the scent seems to change a lot between when I, um, you know, sniff them cold and when they're melted or burned. So I really messed up that wick. Anyway, um, this one is pretty, you can see in the top, a little bit oily. And I think that's from sitting outside. Even though it was a monsoon, it was a warm monsoon. So I'm going to put this actually under a warmer instead of burning it. And I think that might go a little faster because um, it's already after six o'clock at night, so I will place this under the warmer. Well, you can go with me, and then we'll come back again. I'll turn it 
turn it on here. Oh boy. So, there it is. And in doing that, I uh, disturbed a dog. I, so let's say hi to Diamond since she got disturbed. Hi, Diamond. Diamond is a fo was a foster dog, but when she got so old that no one would adopt her at 15, I said, well, let me go ahead and adopt her. I want her to have a home before, you know, she goes to doggy heaven. I want her to be somebody's dog and not just a foster, so... She's my second foster I adopted. The other one is still in this house too. But Diamond is a rat terrier, a beautiful rat terrier, even though she's 15 years old. And believe me, she has plenty of spunk. So we'll see you later after we melt the candle. To speed up the process, I have actually put the lid underneath the jar to get it just a little closer to the light. Come to the light. Okay, it's been maybe two and a half hours. Let's check the progress of our candle. Well, I don't see anything peeking through. This might have to be a two day video. I thought I saw just a hint of it. I see a little bump is what I see. Right there. Do you see that bump? I think I'm going to have to get out the Mega Warmer. <clears throat> um, because I don't think I can smell this candle for that much longer. I actually ended up lighting another candle. A pistachio candle from Southern Belle Gems and Smells. Because I am not an orange fan, and I know this is peach margarita, but I'm getting a whole lot of orange in it. <clears throat> Might just be because I don't like orange, that it seems orangey, but I could really even smell this in the kitchen, which is the furthest room from where the candle is. So, um, Not that it's terribly strong throughout the house, but it did spread. But uh, just not being an orange fan, um, I lit a pistachio candle and they actually blended together quite well. Well, I'll go get the other warmer and check in with you in a little bit. Okay, well I put it in my mega warmer and it wasn't even an hour before I went in and look, it's all melted. Actually, it's not too hot there. And my little Prize had floated to the top. The Mega Warmer, it looks like a miniature crock pot. I just call it Mega Warmer. It's made for jar candle or glass jar ca Yankee candles basically. I think that's the brand of it maybe even. Okay, I'm having a little trouble picking this up. Wow, who knew this would be the hard part? Usually it's getting the candle or the foil thing out of the wax. Drippy drippy. Um, the candles definitely had my house not smelling like dog anymore. Um, if you like orange scent, this is your candle. I don't like oranges to eat them. I don't like the smell of them so much. I mean, it's not like disgusting or anything, but it's just not my favorite. Uh, so, while well, I think it was a high quality candle, um, it just wasn't to my taste. All right, so let's see what's in this little piece of foil. I believe Kushner has stainless steel. Um, 925 silver and then some gold. Mm. 
this is right like the least messiest maybe it's that melting it on the top and then melting it on the bottom that's made it not quite as messy Oh, you may have noticed we're not in the sewing room anymore. We're in the office. Because the lighting, I don't have very good lighting in either room. Well, it's definitely a um, ring, and it's definitely like stainless steel. Or you can tell by the weight of it, it's very, just the way it looks. Let's see what it says. Yep, stainless steel. Bull. This is not coming in very well, is it? It says blush quartz with white Austri uh, Austrian crystals. And there's the ring. Let's see if it would fit. Yes, I think it would actually. It's kind of an interesting color. It's um, not not pink, not peach, kind of in between. Actually, it's a big ring. There might be too much light on it that it just kind of. Hmm. You know what color it reminds me of? Um, Morganite. Kind of that color. 